So hi everyone, I'm just going to show you now how to forward your emails from Outlook to your personal email address or just a selection of emails that abide by certain rules that you can set. Uh, so for Melbourne Polytechnic, first log in to the, uh, ignore that, Melbourne Polytechnic a remote URL, which is shown there at the top. Scroll down to remote access for staff, click Outlook. It'll ask for your uh, email address and password, and then click sign in. The first thing you have to do is just make sure that your personal email address is a recipient in the address book. So you do that by scrolling down uh, to the people icon and you can either find to see if you're there or you can just hit plus new and add your name and email address as I'm doing now. Once you've done that, you fill in any information that you want, just click save at the top and the email address is in the address book now. Next, go back to your uh, mail with the envelope icon down the bottom. Um, hit the uh, wheel of settings in the top right. From settings, you need to find your app settings near the bottom and click mail. Okay, from here on, if you want to forward all emails that come from your institute to your personal email address, God help you. No, just kidding. Um, if you want to do that, uh, go to accounts forwarding. Click start forwarding enter your email address, and then hit save. Um, I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to discard this. And I'm simply going to go instead to the, I think, better solution. I just want to see my pay slips come to my email address. So instead, I'm going to go to uh, automatic processing. Automatic processing is at the top. From there, you go to inbox and sweep rules. Inbox and sweep rules, OK. Under Inbox Rules, click the plus icon, which is to add a new rule. And I'm going to call it Pay Slip Forwarder. You can call it Eggs Benedict if you like, it doesn't matter. When the message arrives and it matches all of these conditions, now here we set the conditions. Um, I'm going to say if it includes these words in the sender's address. And the words, well, the keyword is payroll because our um, payroll people have payroll in the email address. And then click the plus to add that. Say OK. And you can see it's in bold now at the right side. That's the only condition I actually need. Now you have to uh, set the action. Do all of the following. Select one. I'm going to say forward, redirect, or send. Under that, forward the message to. I'm going to click. And in fact, I want it to go to um, the only contact I have in the address book, uh, which has been selected here. But if you want to do a search, you can just put in the keywords um, and search and then find. OK. So uh, I found the person. I'm going to put the plus sign there. And you see it then appears at the top. You can put multiple people if, they, if you want there. Uh, so if I want to put uh, someone else, maybe do a search. Yes, I want that person to get lots of spam. So I'll select them too. And then when you've done, hit save. OK. So in bold now we have the two recipients that are going to get payroll um, emails forwarded to them. And then I'm going to hit OK. It saves and it comes up under the list now as the pay slip forwarder. That's actually all you need to do, as simple as that. Um, don't forget to log out.